Hello and welcome to this little showcase of the new update 0.6. I'm joined here with Lucas. Hello everybody. Uh, Lucas is uh, currently doing QA. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this video he'll be asking a few questions along the way, I, I imagine. Uh, well, I'll try my best, Morden. Okay. Um, but I'll hopefully it will be something interesting in the end. Yeah, I mean... Uh, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna be clicking through these screens because you, I'll, I'm gonna tell you what it's all about. So let's get started. So this is what the new map looks like. You can see it's fully explored because these people have been living here for a long time. And uh, what they're now discussing is how can they grow and become bigger. And that's uh, that's your task as the player. These are the objectives which are presented. Increase population to 15 and achieve these conditions, these ratings. They compare themselves to a neighbor town called Eden Plains, which we'll see uh, a little later. And um, that's what you need to achieve. So there's many ways you can do that. But here's one plan that they're presenting, and uh, it includes a little tutorial, which I will walk through. Um, um, is that the only way you can do this? No, I mean, uh, you, you will still win the scenario if you reach it any other way, as long as you can get to these uh, objectives, you can do it any way you want. But this is, yeah, it's kind of probably the easiest way to do it, because you can earn quite a bit of money if you follow this and then you can buy stuff to achieve this security rating you can buy weapons for, yeah but um, I have I have I not even mentioned what it's about let's see it's about um, making rubber um, so the first part of the tutorial is to um, order the necessary materials and people to start this rubber production. So let's just do that. Go here, find the neighbor town like that. Uh, connect it with us. This is where we want the transport to go and the transport will be this barge which, co which costs 100 credits. Next step is to get a machine which can extrude rubber products um, I'm just gonna sort by um, price because I know that it costs a fair bit it costs 100 here it is and uh, the other thing that you need for making rubber is you need a supply of sulfur sulfur is used for um, vulcanizing rubber so it's an important material. Uh, let's go to S. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Down here. They have seven. And we'll take all of it like that. Next thing you need, you need expertise. So you need a few specialists. So we're gonna go here. We've heard that there are, there's a family of, of chemists called Nissan. And um, you can see Two of them are willing to join, so let's just take both of those uh, people like that. And now we're ready to start the run. Yeah, and uh, this is what it looks like now. You got an ETA in 0 0.6 days, 0 0.59 now. And you can also follow along on the world map, see how far has the barge come. Um, before I fast forward, then I just want to plant these crops because we're gonna need food. So, and this is a farming town after all. So, that's like that. And then, um, yeah, let's fast forward a little bit now. All right, the boat has arrived, and um, let's see. Here they are. A few people and uh, this triggers the next event screen which will instruct you how to build 
the polymer workshop. So let's just uh, have a look at that. I'm gonna. Um, it says uh, find the extrusion machine here. There it is, and then you can click used in and see what it requires. This polymer workshop requires three water cane stems. So let's go and get those. I believe there's a few here, so let's see if there's enough. There's four. And uh, yeah, Lucas, as you can see, we've um, implemented this new thing that I know that you. Yeah, they're right, the slider. It's actually something new. It wasn't there in the beginning when I played. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is. Uh, on request from several people, of course. Now you can place it because we got all the resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna s reveal that the swamp is up here to the northeast, and that's where the resources for rubber production I is gonna come from. So I want to place this uh, workshop not too far from that. Let's place it here. Uh, it'll just make things more efficient. While this structure is being built, I think it's time to start uh, searching for the resource. Uh, it's called Marshcut Sap and it grows up here in the swamp. So uh, what I want to do is place a patrol zone because uh, the townspeople are afraid of the swamp and there's a reason for that because there's quite a few of dangerous animals up there. So it's good to have a, an armed guard just to take care of business. And uh, meanwhile, um, we can follow along here and see when uh, they've located the resources. I'm gonna start one more exam soon like that. And here it's already appeared. So now you'll get one yellow dot here on the minimap and uh, it's also indicated by some heavy blinking here. So let's get that one. And now she's found some more. Let's get that. Three. Like that. And um this is called rubber tapping, so it means that you need a um, to harvest these resources. You need a some kind of jar, and uh, we've got a tapping bucket. We also got some clay jars, so we have enough for for gathering uh, several at a time. All right, so we got a chemist at work here, fulfilling our order of. 15 rubber parts, which consists of three batches. So let's see. Yeah, that's the first batch done. And um, this will trigger this screen, which uh, explains how you can sell this product on the market. And uh, he suggests that you sell it to Scenic Station first, because then we can buy sulfur which is um, a necessary material. So... Um, you need, what you need to do is you need to place these products in your port building. So go here to the trade button and then find it... Uh, find rubber parts and then click allow and this will instruct them to place the, these products or these items here and um, the items that are placed here you can sell so how do I sell these items to another place? yeah, we, uh, once you have enough and you think you uh, it's worth it to order a barge then you can go in and, uh, and uh, order a run the same way that we did in the beginning All right, we got 15, and this is the goal that I've set for myself. Um, uh, 
when you play maybe you want to gather up some more but I just want to show you how this works so let's go and um, order a run start and this time we're gonna go from this place which is sort of a mining town so they, they deal in ores and minerals and we're gonna get the barge then uh, the first thing you want to do is sell whatever you have because when you're when you're low on credits you can use your the value of your goods um, to pay for whatever you want and pay for the barge so start by doing this now we got money um, so we're just gonna go and get a little bit of sulfur so we can continue production I think we can afford two or something like that and uh, yeah of course you can get some extra people if you're in the mood for that um, don't get too many because uh, they might get unhappy if you don't uh, have enough food so let's start this and this one will arrive in 0 0.6 days and as before you can follow along here and see when it arrives so that was a demonstration of the little tutorial which is included in the new scenario uh, as we probably said this is just one of the ways that you can uh, reach those objectives so uh, you can find your own way um, main thing is that you get those ratings up that you get uh, weapons uh, housing and you get uh, enough food and uh, so that will be me Morten and Lucas yes we will be signing off now and uh, until next time uh, bye bye, -bye.